Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Omni Viewer, and a ton of information has just dropped about Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. First of all, we've got pictures. Here's one with the human characters. But honestly, who gives a crap about that? We also got a picture of Godzilla. Yes, in stark contrast to the 2014 film, one of the first official teaser images we get is no less than Godzilla himself. And here it is. Now, the article from which this comes from, which is an Entertainment Weekly article, doesn't necessarily give us much context in this scene. All Doherty has said is that it is a key moment and sort of a call to arms. His exact words. A call to arms for what exactly? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? After all, word from the early screenings was that there was no monster team up. So if Godzilla's call to arms isn't meant for Rodan and Mothra, then who the heck is it for? Wait, haven't there been rumors floating around that there are going to be other monsters in this movie as well? Well, maybe the trailer will tell us a bit more when it comes out. Speaking of, Doherty also had a tiny bit to say about Rodan. He's apparently a big fan of the giant pterosaur. He describes him as sort of an A-bomb with wings. Seems like he's really excited to have Rodan in this movie, if I'm being honest. Now, if we look at the image of Godzilla himself, we see that the design hasn't really changed all that much since 2014. Which, honestly, I think we all expected. Granted, he's in the water, so we can't tell if he still has the sauropod feet or not. But the most notable difference are his dorsal fins. You may notice they're a bit larger and a bit more irregular just starting to get to the point where they look like the original 1954 dorsal fins. It's really easy to tell, in fact, because they're glowing in this shot. Otherwise, it looks like the same design, so if you were hoping for a total makeover... oh well. But it's not just pretty pictures we've gotten. We also have a few plot details. We now know that Vera Farmiga's character, Dr. Emma Russell, officially works for Monarch, and that she and her daughter, played by Millie Bobby Brown, are kidnapped by what is called, quote, a mysterious organization with their own plans for the creatures. Well, it seems like those other rumors we got are starting to sound more and more plausible. And it would appear that Kyle Chandler's character, who plays Dr. Russell's husband, Mark, joins up with Dr. Sarazawa and Dr. Graham to rescue her. So I'm guessing that's what the human plot is mainly going to be about. Meanwhile, we're also told that while there are a few hints about the introduction of Kong, there's not going to be that much. It'll be there, but it's not going to be Iron Man 2 levels of foreshadowing. At least that's what we're being told at this point. So, slight tweaking of Godzilla's design, which I think looks good. I've never had a problem with the 2014 design anyway, and these new additions just make it look even better. And some interesting plot details. Sounds like the sort of thing that will ultimately be just enough to keep our interest in between monster fights. Still no word on the specific roles of Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, but that trailer is bound to come any minute now. I hope. Knock on wood. Fingers crossed. Rabbit's foot in pocket. I have a feeling this is going to be the first of many bits of promotional material we'll be seeing. The deluge has begun. So as always, you're free to leave your thoughts on these developments in the comments section below. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer signing off.